right, Top Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country. We're at 8009 Land Grove Court, Orlando, Florida, 32819, here in Wind Grove Estates. And the purpose of this video is to give you what you can't see if you look at the best pictures online on Realtor.com, TrulyHomes.com, Redfin. How do I know? Well, because I'm, if you've seen them, I'm the person who took them. People call and say, what's the neighborhood really like? Here about seven o'clock on a weekday evening. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a feel for the neighborhood and the house as well. Built in the early 90s. Our particular house is built in 1993. They're all custom homes. Our house is on 0.27 acres, so more than a quarter acre. It's an amazing location. One of the reasons why the property values are so high here, we've got great schools. We've got an HOA that's only $504 a year. That's $42 a month. So it's not like you're gonna get those expensive HOA fees. Just enough to keep everything managed well, not enough to be a burden. You can see almost everybody here is owner occupant take some pride in their home and of course all those trees that's what people love in this established neighborhood so as far as our area we are close to the YMCA right around the corner as a matter of fact Universal Studios is just a few minutes away and of course SeaWorld the Disney Parks Sand Lake Road with the world famous restaurant row literally seven minutes away so you have more choices within 10 minutes of this house, high-end restaurants to eat, that are probably in the entire states of North and South Dakota put together. Got easy access to I-4 and from there to the Turnpike, the expressways, you be at Disney in 30 minutes, be at the beaches in about 50 to 60, be universal. Just a couple. So this location with these type of houses. This kind of neighborhood with this kind of amazing location. There's three cardinal rules of real estate. Location, number two, location, number three, location. If you were to just get out a map and say, not too close to the theme parks, but close. Not right on I-4, but close. Want to be near a nice restaurant, tourist stuff, movie theaters, malls. Certainly the best and largest Whole Foods that I've ever seen. If you had to pick all that, you would end up with your finger on the map just about here in Wind Grove Estates. Taxes are reasonable. Taxes at Homestead on our subject property here at 8009 Land Grove are 6847 That's only $6,850 a year. Coming from New York, they pay that in two months. So we've got nice big houses, upper end neighborhood, nice feel, nice trees, no HOA, so you don't have anybody on you all the time about painting your fence or if your yard's got a bare spot. And of course here you are on what everybody wants, a quiet cul-de-sac. No one says, can you give me a house on a busy road? Give me a house on a cul-de-sac? Okay, good. Here's our house here. That is the upgraded elevation for sure. That stone is beautiful. Got a nice yard, which is when it's cut. It needs to get cut tomorrow. It looks like a golf course. Landscaping. Anyone's done any landscaping, they know how just how expensive it is. Get some of this in and look at this entranceway. It's 
So let's go on in. Four bedrooms, four baths, and welcome home. Got a big, big living room. Got a decorative fireplace there for an electric fireplace. Put your TV up there. And look at that. Beautiful LED lights under the cabinets. Crystal chandeliers that are included. Just try pricing out those babies. Huge kitchen, like everybody wants. New appliances. That's brand new, right there. I think you'd be the first person to keep your eggs in there. And look at that chandelier. Included. So you want all the nice features, the big formal dining room. So big it echoes, big formal living room, the grand entry, lots of glass leading to the pool in the back. This floor, some kind of extreme flooring, it's dent proof, kid proof, pet proof, waterproof, worry free, lifetime warranty. Guess it's designed to withstand a nuclear war and still be here. We'll go out there in a minute. Now we're in the back. Nice sound of a waterfall. All the tile and the pebble tech there. And that's brand new. Giving you years and years of worry free swimming. I think the house that I was raised in had less square foot than this screened enclosure. Room out there for playpen, spa, barbecue, fire pit. Yeah, but I really want something with a new roof. Oh, this roof is brand new. May 2022. You've got solar panels, got a brand new roof. Look at that, that is good looking. If you're worried about plumbing, well, that was redone here in 2022, just recently. And after you plumb, you end up repainting inside and out. So they did. Flooring, plumbing, even the two water heaters have been replaced. Let's go look inside. All right, we're back inside by all those great chandeliers. We're gonna go on the master suite side of the house here. Look how white and new, those are brand new. Just put in. All right, we've got bedroom number two. We've got a guest bath, shower, looks like it's never been used. Everything's been redone. I mentioned the two new water heaters. I see the washer and dryer is newer. About three or four years ago, there's a dual zoned AC. We replaced both AC units. So here on the master suite side, we've got an AC. And then on the other side, we've got an AC. This was a gym, narrow mirror room. Perfect for saving money or being able to have the convenience of working out right here off your master bedroom. Nice big tall ceilings overlooking the pool. 
way far back in the house for privacy. Got an unusual flooring here. That's a type of painted concrete. So I guess it's indestructible. It sure does look good. We have a two-headed shower with just one head right now. You can put it back to the dual-headed shower. You can see that is not inexpensive choices with our stone here. Look at that. That's wood. My bedroom wasn't this big as a kid. And here, so big it echoes. Koozie tub, of course. So you know you're gonna have low electric bills with the new AC, the new water heater, the new roof. New refrigerator, new dishwasher. House itself is 3,171 square feet. Again, built in 1993. The total slab, including that big area in the back, is 4,115 square feet. Four bedrooms, four baths, we just saw the master suite, one of the bedrooms and baths. Now we're into the laundry room. Of course, all the features you'd expect. Front loading, that looks big enough where you just open it up and put the dog or the kids inside even. Just wash them in the dryer and the wash machine. So no worries about capacity. Look at that, it's brand new. The features on this shower, instead of a shower curtain. Get that good looking glass. Nice rich colors with the solid stone. One of the bedrooms here. This is the only one that doesn't have a bath like actually attached. Have to suffer so much. Oh, going right there. So, part of how you know you've arrived. Four bedrooms, four baths. This is a little master suite back here, way back in the back left corner of the house. Brand new carpeting. Brand new. And then we've got the pool bath, which would also work for anyone who wants to be here in this master suite full time. If you were even thinking about this house at 8009 Land Grove Court, house in Wingrove Estates, or one down here in Southwest Orlando, in the Dr. Phillips area, or Restaurant Row, or Universal, I want you to call me, Top Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country. Been selling homes full-time, day in and day out. For 34 years, I've sold thousands of homes. Chances are, I can help you get a deal that you'll love on yours as well.